But this is a portal reloaded, which is a portal with the addition of time travel. So um, really excited to see what this goes, uh, what comes out of this. I think there is about uh, 25 puzzles, I believe. So um, yeah, let's jump in. And uh, you finished commuting from college? I'll be back. Okay, Arnold. <laughs> Uh, how's everybody doing that today? Hope you're all well. Hope your uh, Wednesday is treating you well, or has treated you well, if you uh, are like some people and live in the future. Hello, test subject. Four, five, zero, nine. You have been in stasis for... 16 days and... Four decades. So 16 days doesn't seem a lot. <laughs> Welcome to the Aperture Science Long-Term Human Storage Vault. You have been selected oh, wow, to take part potato, in a very it? special testing course. The frames are terrible. Jeez. Can I look down at the floor? Does that improve the frames? Federal regulations require and us to enforce going on? that the no testing ahead may re Let me just turn down some um, stuff here. Boop, boop, boop. And it won't be a portal stream unless we actually broke portal now, would it? <laughs> Why is it that we always break the portal mods? There we go. Better. Result in slight cases of sore throat, or blurry vision, or death. I'll see if it picks up once the. Um... If you experience any of the aforementioned side effects, please do not hesitate to write them down in your test report. What's going on, Sonny? Welcome along, hope you're well. This uh, vacuum tube will take you to your testing area. You will be certainly a big old area, there. isn't it? Let's face it. It's a big old area. Good luck. I'm good, thanks, uh, Sonny. Very good, thank you very much. Uh, okay. We'll do around. Enjoy your day. Have fun. Alrighty then. I have heard like of bits and pieces that um, from a few people. I'll not say too much because you know my um, my steam and everything was like blowing up on Monday and Tuesday. It's like everybody was like, "Oh my God, there's a new Polo mod." Oh, yeah, it's running a lot smoother now, isn't it? A lot smoother. Getting a solid 60 FPS now. Have you played through this yet, Sonny? I, can't, I know you popped in quickly last night to the stream, but I can't remember if you said that you'd um, played it or not. Blop. Welcome to the Enrichment Center. These automated messages will guide you through your test today. The door in front of you is programmed to open in approximately 20 years. This test can be solved in two different ways. Option one, wait patiently. Option no, two, got an hour. time travel to the future. Years. The choice is yours. However, if you prefer time travel, the Enrichment Center will provide you the means to pursue that option. The time portal will open, and testing will begin in three, two, one. So, one thing I did wonder is, uh, are there, I don't know, are there achievements for, are there achievements? I don't think there are. Okay. I wonder if you actually, I, I don't particularly want to do it, and I might try to indicate account. that you have oh, not okay. yet stepped through the time portal. I was going to say, I wonder if you like stay here for long enough, whether or not you'll get some uh, dialogue. You have still not traveled through time. Please enter the time portal. Well, you said I got two options. You said I could either do that or I could wait here for 20 years, right? Welcome to the future. Time traveling through portals will be an essential part of this testing course. 
In order to help you distinguish between the present and the future, this part of the enrichment center has been left untouched for the last 20 years. You may see some signs of decay. Don't worry, the enrichment center is designed to withstand centuries without proper maintenance. Find a way okay. to exit the chamber. Find a way to exit the chamber. All right, so one thing that um, a comment Deathwish made to me um, when we were just chatting about this last night a little bit is that he kind of feels... He said if he, it feels weird to him that the future isn't the newer part, but um, like the old destroyed style is the future. But I guess... Um, if, like they say, they've left it for 25 years, I guess that's kind of just like, yeah, it's been abandoned, and that's what happens. Almost. Uh, but anyway, let us proceed Welcome back to, to the present. If you are ever unsure present, which timeline you're in, simply observe your environment. The present should always look a bit cleaner than the future. I mean... It would be really cool if they did that formally, and it's almost like the Stanley that achievement in the Stanley Parable, where I think you have to wait so, or you have to take so long, or, this or wait. This aperture science I think test subject game, teleportation it? device will dematerialize your body and rematerialize it in the next chamber. This process is absolutely safe. It's like a usually. It's like a uh, human disassembly machine, then I guess, right? Um, but yeah, like that, uh, there's the achievement in the um, Stanley Parable where you got to press the button for so long. And um, there's a way to, like, cheat it by altering your system clock, I believe. But no, that would be pretty cool. If there was, uh, like, a something where if you forwarded the uh, system clock 20 These years. These next chambers will involve cube and button-based testing with the perks of time travel. All right. So I'm guessing like the original um, sort of portal as well. placed in the present will appear in the same position in the future. Okay. Moving a cube in the present will automatically update the location of the same cube in the future. This future version of the cube can be moved freely without affecting its counterpart in the present. It will stay um, wherever you leave it, as long as the present cube's destiny is not altered in any way. Okay, so... These material emancipation grills will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through them, including okay, cubes. this is, um... Okay, so this one doesn't affect the other one, only this, that one affects... That one, right? Okay. A little bit, just to sort of get my head around the fact that that cube doesn't react the same or behave the same way as the other one. It's quite interesting. I quickly see if I can re up my anti alias in now. Get ready for the stutter. Good. Please continue to the next chamber. Still be running at 60, so I think we're good. I think it probably was just that intro sequence then. Alright, so we haven't got the same... Understanding the concept of between... cause and effect will be vital to solving the upcoming tests. We don't have the same transitional put, sequences. Everything you do in the past the, has an uh, impact on the future, but not the other way around. I mean, the present has an impact in the future, but the future doesn't impact the present. Gotcha. In which case, all right. So I think this is this now is going to teach me what I just saw a moment ago. And hey Fritz, what's going on? Welcome along. Hope you are very well. But yeah, I think this is what it's telling me, is that I can bring cubes from the future Good into thinking. the present. While it is impossible to bring a present cube to the future, this clever trick allows you to have two versions of the same cube in one timeline. This will prove to be very useful in future chambers. 
would happen if I... So if I pick that up, that puts it back in here, I guess. Yeah, okay. You finished playing nice this today? Try. But bringing a present cube to the future violates the laws of causality and is therefore impossible. Okay. We've got to test these things out, let's be honest. But, um... Well, no, I'm prone to breaking stuff. Uh, did you enjoy the mod, Fritz? Enjoy it yourself? Right, so... Take a cube. Where does that place that one? Does that one place it on the... Place it on the button. Okay, I see... Okay, I think I see what I need to do here. So, I think what I need to do is place this on here. Okay. But place it on there. Now, one thing I want to check is can I independently respawn cubes? Yes, I can. Well, that one at least I can. Oh, okay. So we can't do that because the cube actually moved position. Alright. So, um, let's think about this. I do feel like I need to just sort of have on there. Alright, well, okay, so maybe I'm overthinking this. I don't even need it on there, do I? I could just put it there. It will be just as effective there. Then we put it through here and on the um, button like that. Then we can pick this cube up. Place that on there. There we go. Always remember, if you change the destiny of an object in the present, the future version of that object will be affected as well. Keep if this mind. sounds too complicated, you're in luck. The next chamber will only heavily rely on your understanding of this very basic concept. Right, we have our first bit of music here as well. It's an original soundtrack, isn't it? So we need a cube, looks like. We need to pass a cube up at least. That's what we need a cube here. Luckily, this area is destroyed, so we can get a destroyed cube here. Bring it through to the present. Then spawn our future cube. Oh, sorry. Spawn our present cube. Okay. Now we can put that on there. Quite nice that they've left this gap here. Because that does sort of heavily indicate to me that we need to... going to need to position that elsewhere. I'm wondering what we're literally going to do. Put the cube on here. And go and grab it from here. Put it on there. Pick it up and change the position to there, right? Adam, what is going on, buddy? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well this afternoon. Then that goes there. Then both off. 
And we can pick up this cube on this button. Good. We are By now, you hopefully understand cool. the concept of cause and effect and how cubes behave in different timelines. Now, let's move on to something more interesting. Something more interesting. Alrighty then. So, what is next, Gar? And now, for the moment you've been waiting for, Aperture Science proudly presents the Triple Portal Device. The Triple Portal Device. Dear God. This marvelous device will allow you to place three different portals. For now, however, to introduce you to the concept of portals in different timelines, the time portals will be placed for you. Okay, so timeline ones will be placed for me, that's fine. Save this from messing about too much then. Alright, so does the same A portal placed in the present yeah. will appear on okay. the same surface in the future. That is what I was just about to ask. Also, isn't this um isn't this one of the original isn't this layout of one of the original portal level? Hmm. I don't know. It might be. Possibly. So then we are going to do orange portal. Uh, portal. A portal placed in the future will not override its What's existing this, uh, location in the present. Our first um, glimpse of uh, character that looks like Chell with some updated hair and some blue. Pants. Good. Thinking in four dimensions means not only knowing where to place your portals, but also when. When. Might have a little uh, secret here, but uh, I think it's just a room with an extended arm, so fine. Don't want me to go up to there, though. Just like to explore these things, though. Gotta be sure we're not missing out on anything, right? One thing I just did notice though is that um doesn't it always got it's always got a green light on the top of this gun, so it doesn't tell you what the last uh portal you shot was. Eddie, what is going on, buddy? Welcome along. Hope you are well. Please ignore that. The decay of this facility over the past 20 years may have caused the destruction of some portal surfaces. Try to find a way around this. I right, still can't shoot um, any portals at the moment. Interesting room. Okay, so maybe now we go back over here. Was that a mistake? Could have been a mistake. You rage quit the last puzzle? Since it's very easy to screw up. Okay. I did see you was playing it earlier on, Eddie. Oh, I did, oh, I did, oh, I did. Alright, let's go back to... Inside of me, I think I missed something. What did I done did missed? From here, 
I keep a portal there. Oh, there is that there. Was that not open before? Hmm. Oh, I can't do that because there's no portal surface there. Ah, sneaky. What I don't like about these auto portals is that the surfaces restrict normal portal placement on them. Yeah. <laughs> can I just tell you? Can I just tell you something really quickly, Eddie? Right, my kids are. I've got a bit into Celeste, and they they're watching like my videos back from time to time. And one thing they always say to me is. Why is Eddie such a troll in your videos? <laughs> They're like, oh, Eddie, Eddie's always in your stream and he's always trolling you when you're playing Celeste. And, uh, <laughs> I find it quite funny. Eddie be a troll. Alright, so I need to keep that there. Saw 600 bars of gold in one testing track. Alright, so if that one persists, can I then do this then? This is what I can do. Then if I flip the time, go through here. There we go. <laughs> Crazy what is going on. All right, so that's interesting. Nicely done. Take note. Because time portals exist in exactly the same location in both timelines, they can only be placed on surfaces which are intact in both the present and the future. So interestingly enough, if it's not present in both, you can have independent portals in both timelines. No worries, crazy. Everything's dependent on destruction, Fumbly. So crazy. Thank you very much for the host. Interesting. This next chamber will involve the concept of momentum-based traveling through portals. You go in fast, you come out fast. Simple enough. Alrighty then. Also, I gotta mute my um, gotta mute my teams. Sorry, because that's really annoying. These people know I'm on my lunch break. <laughs> uh, okay, cool. All right, so we got here. We have a pit, which we can do this. Fling over to there, but we're going to want to change the placement here, maybe. Let's go and just have a quick look down here. Touching the material emancipation grills will cause any ordinary portal to fizzle. Time portals are not affected. Okay. Let's note. If a portal closes in the present, it will also close in the future. So think about where and when to pass through them. case of doing this again maybe yeah or do I not get enough height from doing this under yeah I don't get enough height to do that so there must be a difference in oh because I need to go up to there
I'll be brutally honest. Like I said, uh, Eddie, you made you, you certainly made an impression on my kids with all your hints. <laughs> all right, so now I need to get up to there. So I need to get up to there without using losing the portals, right? I need to, need to fling from up here down to over to there, right? That's the idea here. All of the fizzlers remain intact, so this does sort of seem to suggest it's not going to give me enough to get over to there, is it? going for an hour crazy um, this is my lunch break from work so oh uh, yeah it's only be for an hour do you know what that's that's the biggest hint that they could have right now especially my son he's like really defiant at the minute about brushing his teeth he's like nope not brushing my teeth I said damn right you are he's got an electric toothbrush like with the the, the timer on it as well to like tell him to brush it for two minutes but yet he still doesn't brush his teeth for two minutes all right what i'm missing here at the minute with this one is i'm missing why i would need the time portals here What you'll probably find crazy is that there'll be more people at these at this streams at this sort of time because this was my original kind of portal streaming time. This is when we always used to stream portal in my lunch break from work. So, so in an ideal world, I would portal onto there, go through there, and then re-portal. But obviously, as Fumbly alluded to. No way to do that. I don't. I don't understand why. What the time portals are for in this one? I'll be completely honest. Come back, Doctoress. What's the big difference between? past and present in this chamber. Explain what's going on. The time portals are how I solve it, yeah, but. That's sort of fumbly alluded to a moment ago. Husky, what's going on? Welcome along. The game is hard, to say the least. Uh, well, I heard some of the, the regular portal players say that they've been able to do it in a couple, uh, two or three hours, so. Um, I guess it's down to your experience level with the game and, and how good you are at sort of solving the puzzles initially. Now hold on, let's think. Um, 
does say something about... There was something about, wasn't there? Um, going through the portals at the right time because of... Saving your portals so that they fizzle or whatever in the right orientation, right? I mean, we can make it up to here. Are you my wife, Ellie? <laughs> uh, yeah, no, they are six and ten. They are exactly those ages. took eight puzzles, but I'm confused. That clears my portals, right? Does it? Well, maybe this is where... Okay. Okay. Now it makes sense. All right, so what I'm going to do here then is I'm going to bring over to... So in the past... Uh, yeah, right, okay. So in the past, I'm going to do this. With that portal there. And then we're going to go over to the... Present. Sorry, I'm getting confused because the, the, the stylings of Aperture here. So now in the future, we're going to do this. Okay. Now my other portal... Alright, so... Why did... Why did that one... Why did that do that differently then? It kept my portal before. Didn't it say something about... Hold on. Um, what if I don't... Maybe it's because I didn't do... Is it both of my portals before? I'll just do that only. Drop down to the... Other time zone. 
Okay. Right. So. Outstanding. Now that you know all the essentials, how about shooting some time portals of your own? Right, okay. So I probably didn't pay enough attention to the what I was being told at the beginning of that chamber, but as long as I only shoot one portal in one of the dimensions, then they will persist when I go through a fizzler. It's only when you, it seems like when you have a complete set of portals that you'll fizzle them when you're traveling between the two. So that's um need to keep that in mind. Oh yes, of course, the past influences the future. You mean the present? I can do things in the future which won't... Of course, no, that makes total sense. I do things in the future which doesn't affect the present because if I do them in the present, then they'll still persist in the future. Oh my god, my head is a mess. Ahead of you <laughs> is the Aperture Science Time Portal Activation Force Field. This field will activate and deactivate your ability to shoot time portals. It will not fizzle your portals or destroy cubes. All right. Can I go back? Can I run away? I don't want to solve this and just run. Alright, so it's a bit like aperture tag then it seems. It seems like there's some like activations and deactivations. You can only do it in certain places, so that's that's cool. Great. The following chamber will combine all the elements you have learned so far. Good luck solving your first test while shooting three different portals. Alrighty then. So let's take a cube for a start. Humbly says this puzzle are cool. I think I would come out there and do something there, but where would I... Where would that actually fling me, though? Seem. Oh, I think I know what's going to happen here. Possibly. So, I think what's going to happen is we're going to travel through a time portal at some place and come out in different portals, right? Something like that, perhaps? Now, don't ask me to comprehend what I just did, because I'm not sure I could explain it to you. <laughs> but that are the solution. Well done. Traveling through a time portal will also transfer your current momentum into the other timeline. Yeah, I think what I'm like trying to comprehend is like I didn't set portals and things, so surely I should have set portals in both dimensions to be able to do what I just did, but uh, I guess not.
definitely adds uh, an interesting element. I mean, it's... I guess you could loosely base it on... Uh, like, you could loosely say it's, it's based around thinking with Time Machine, but done a lot better. I need to get a cube over to there. Yeah, I think that's what I probably don't get my... I didn't get my head around there, fumbly, to be honest. It's not just a time portal, it is a portal that you can actually, like, use. As a regular portal, so okay. So okay, we'll go over to here. Rector! No worries, I appreciate there's a couple of people who are exactly the same Rector. But, uh, as always though, thanks for stopping by and saying hi, appreciate it. Alright, so... So let's put the cube there. Yeah, that's pot. Okay, so now we go and get the cube from the future and bring it to the past, I think. Oh, wait a second. I need to take that cube off first, don't I? Because the minute I move the cube off the button, it's going to cause an update to the future cube. So we can take this. Okay. Now we're going to want to do this. It's across to here. Okay, so now, um, what should we undo? We should have put the normal cube onto the surface here, or just a portable surface first. All right, so that's easily sortable. So what we'll do is we'll put a portal there. Take this cube. Actually doesn't necessarily need to be there, does it? Not somewhere where we can see. Um... I should do this just for the moment. Okay, so then from here, we're going to want to go through there, pick up the cube. So, now we're going to want to switch dimensions 
and fling over to there. Like a push or something there that's oh I fired the wrong portal. Uh what happened there? Did I not go through the Oh, I gotta do it in the future. Alright, well it's it's fine. If I can get through here, of course, that'll be fine. But, this is the issue. Now I would need to pass through... I would need to pass through time. How would I do that? A big stretch for doctors? How would I pass through time and how would I <laughs> I don't wash them all, uh, Eddie. It's fine. I'll tell my son. He'll be like, I'll say, hey guys, guess who showed up in my stream today? <laughs> This one's got me a little bit, um... We don't need to stretch that much, Sonny, let's be honest. So how can I go through the time here? Oh, I think I'm being stupid. I don't do it in the past, do I? I don't agree with you. I'm going to say, no, Nock, you're not being stupid. Yeah, 
Yeah, you're definitely not meant to agree with me. <laughs> Nicely done. I don't know why I was now, trying to do that in the past. Let's move like on to some more advanced challenges. I did a win-win. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. All right. So, uh, what time are we on? Right. Uh, Ten more minutes. For my lunch break. If you are ever unsure where you placed your portals or where you left a cube in the other timeline, feel free to use the puzzle element indicator switch on your portal device. This will display holographic projections of your portals and cubes in the other timeline. I did just hydrate myself. I finished my coffee. That's all I've got on my desk right now. Where's the... Is that actually a thing or... I don't want the controller enabled. Is there actually a key for that? F? Yeah, F. Okay. It told me. Alright. So everything is on a timer. Ooh, that was some frames. Big oof on the frames. Okay, so we can press. So. Okay, so I think that's the sort of thing I need to do here. Okay, so... One. Uh, oh, I need to get the poles in the right place, though. That would help. I'm going to mess that up myself, didn't I? One. Two. Can I get unzoomed? Thank you. Oh, geez. I need to be a lot quicker than that, though. Actually, I can do this a little bit smarter. That's two. That's one. Go through here. Change the dimensions. And then I want a blue here. Go one, two. I want to change the dimensions here. After I've pressed two, so let's put that nearer to the button. I guess that would make more sense. Then after I've gone through there, I can fire to there, so I want blue to there, through there, swap dimensions and do the final thing, right? I think that's it. One, two, three. Okay. Quickly make your way over these turret redemption platforms. Unfortunately, they did not survive their trip to the future. Come to think of it, it's actually quite remarkable that you are still alive. Although, an answer I haven't died once, which is quite a feat for me, I'll be honest. I just we're going to have to jump down on the platforms that was near death. Almost spoke if too soon at there. any point you are concerned about your odds of survival, don't be. 
Remember, the test subject teleportation devices at the start of each test section should you die at any point during this test. We can simply rearrange the atoms you are made of and put them back together. Good as new. Well, that's good to note. That is very good to note indeed. Also, this looks a bit similar to a puzzle, doesn't it? Okay. So. What have we got in the other dimension? So, let's get... Uh, what we gonna do here? Put that there, and that there. Yeah, are we in agreement? I think so. Yep. All right. So. Um. Oh, wait a minute. I can't do that because of that. So, in that case, if I was to do that and then do it... Uh, there's no glass there. I don't know why that wouldn't have... Hmm. What's that? Is there a fizzler or something there? No, it is there. Weird. Very weird. Put the cube just there for now. That activates a platform there. So... So now I could go through... I could do that, yeah. Now, I could stand on this button. Okay. What if... I did this. kind of rumbled me on this one. Alright, so we can't do that. That's fine. I'm assuming, though, the minute that does that... Does it auto-respawn? I think it does. Aha! Alrighty then.
so I could respawn the through here alright this I don't know about this Ah! I need that portal there. Let's go back through. And do this again. Remember that you can only place time portals on surfaces which are in the same condition in both timelines. Ah! Alright, so that is not the solution. Well, guys, looks like we have got a little conundrum to face when we pick this up again tomorrow. Unfortunately, we are out of time. Uh, it's been a blast, though, and we have almost got halfway through the chambers. So, um, yeah, we'll be right back here, though, tomorrow, picking up where we left off. Same time, same place, 1pm BST. Or some more portal reloaded action. Thank you very much, everybody, for joining me, though. I really appreciate your support. And until next time, stay safe, have a great day, and happy gaming.